your knees, dog. <laughs> What's going on y'all? Crimson reporting in from live down here in the 205 once again. And wow, we have what it is rumored to be, as they're calling it, that is upon us. The game of the century 2.0. Now, I don't know if it's worthy of being a comparison of the 2011 game of the century. The original, the one and only, as I believe it should be. Yeah, I mean, look, the game was awesome, and even though we did lose that game, I look at it as one of my many favorite Alabama games. Um, I was at the age of 12 at the time of that game, I was fairly young, um, and I remember thinking to myself, is this what almost happened, like, coming to the, like, coming, like, just, I don't know, how do I put it, just, on the verge, is that's a better word to use. On the verge of a heart attack, is this what it feels like? Because I felt like I was going to give it any minute. And I thought, I am too young to have a heart attack at the age of 12. And I was very close. I didn't, luckily. I'm not, you know, blowing it out of the water or exaggerating anything. I mean, seriously, I think everybody was. I mean, even on both sides. Um, but I think the big hype about this game... And it's just because it's number one versus number two game. Oh, you know, AP poll controls everything, right? No, it doesn't. At least for me. I don't care about the AP poll. Yes, it does matter, uh, you know, to an extent. But at the end of the day, the playoff rankings is more of what you're worried about. And I know the AP poll ties into that in certain ways and everything. But at the end of the day, I don't care about the AP poll. And I think that's what gives it so much hype. You know, because, you know, oh, number one versus number two, which is always going to be an awesome game. It'll be my first um, number one versus number two game. Because if you didn't know, it's been all over social media. It's been all over the news. Everyone's talking about it. That a certain somebody's going to be there. And, yes, I'm going to come forth and announce that I, I'm going to be there. So the news media, everybody on all the news channels and everything, social media, everything, they were right. And I think Donald Trump's going to be there too. But anyways, and look, before I go any further, people are already acting their shoe size about the president being at the game. I mean, if you're going to be a sour puss and threaten to give up your ticket, hey, make my day. I'll take your ticket. I mean, even though that I'm getting into the game free, luckily, uh, I'll take your ticket and give it to somebody who's deserving of it. No problem. I mean, come on, man. Grow up. And this isn't the first time that a, that a president or this president has attended a sporting event or a, uh, a, a you know a huge sporting event. So people just need to grow up a little bit. And uh, you know, but I'm not a political channel. Um, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just saying, grow up, some people. Come on. But uh, LSU, you stinking nasty corn dog swamp ass smelling guys ain't gonna do nothing. Nothing. Now, I'm not knocking you. You're a pretty good team. But not a good enough to get in our way. No. No. You're coming to where legends are made. And you're not going to be making legends of yourselves there. Maybe at a corn dog stand or something. Yeah. But not at Brian Denny Stadium. So, look. The best thing I can go ahead and tell you to do right now is the third quarter, about the beginning of the fourth quarter. Go home, go home, go home. Get out of there quick as you can, because I'm sure as hell sure that you don't want to be rammer jammered. I don't think you do. I want you to be, but I don't think you want to. So my advice is get out of there before that can even happen, because it's going to be loud. Oh, it's going to be loud, and it's going to be phenomenal. You're going to get your annual ass kicking, just like you have been. So... Nothing's going to change there. Roll Tide, everybody out there. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Let's kick that ass because I can't wait to be at that game, man. I cannot wait. I got Crunk Man coming with me. It's going to be a good one, man. We're going to have a good time. Uh, I'm going to do the best I can to get some footage. Um, can't wait to kick these LSU corn dogs' ass. 
man, we're going to make them tigers just have their tail stuck between their damn legs. That's what all I got to say, man. I am fired up, and it's only Tuesday. So we're just counting down the days right here at uh, Crimson Studios, as I like to call it. I got the uh, Alabama flag as a landmark of Crimson Studios as a, as a symbol. Uh, I don't know what the hell you want to call it, but I'm, I'm fired up, y'all. I'm just about half fired up. I can't wait. And uh, if you're an LSU fan, you're probably thinking, man, I hate this guy. I hate this guy. I want to hear how much you hate me. Come on, baby. This is hate week. This is what it's about. Roll Tide.